Hi, welcome to Inductal Medical. Let's have a quick look at this program. It's just fantastic for students doing a medical degree because it also finds a definition but also it can speak back the definition and show you how to pronounce the words as well. So let's have a little quick look at the interface. Going to the top here, I'm going to start off where it says Medical Dictionary. Now if you click the drop down menu there, you can choose between graphics, medical dictionary or just sound. I want to leave it on medical dictionary and then in the drop down menu under that you can choose all which will be definitions, anatomy, abbreviation and drugs. Or you can just select the one you require. So I'm just going to select anatomy for now. Now this little window is where we do our search. So I'm now going to type in heart and as you see I've typed in heart a graphic appears in the middle. Now before we go to that graphic because we can change the levels of what you're looking at. Let's start by reading back the definition of what the heart is. So if I go up to a little button here that says speak definition and do a left click. Core. The viscous of cardiac muscle that maintains the circulation of the blood. You notice that it does read back slowly. It does that for a reason. So you can pick up every single word clearly. Also, if you just click the speak word option as well, it'll just read back the word for you. As you see on the left here, because we typed in heart, it's showing us everything. It shows us everything that starts with those letters. So if I clicked on, for example, head long muscle of, double click that, then you can see the graphic changes in the middle, and then the definition also changes there. But I'm going to go back to heart, and we'll have a look at that. So we can speak it back, which is fine. We've also got a definition here. Now if we actually go to the graphic, you've got an option here, so if I click here we can change the view. And there we go, I've now changed the view. Click it again, and you can click through. Now if I come down to the bottom here, see here it always gives a letter and tells you what each part of the heart represents. So it does break it down into detail. Also, you've got an option here called up one level. If I click that, then it will go up one level as you can see, and you can see the view of the heart from the outside of the chest. Or if I clicked the acceptable body top level it goes straight back out so you can see the whole anatomy. Then I can just click into what I want again so I could go back into torso fun, left click that and then I could choose breast or I could go up one level and I could go to the chest instead and then I can view the lungs by clicking into there. So it's a really, really handy option. And just remember that on the left here, you can get the definition of that and also have that read back for you. But that's anatomy. I'm going to go to the down menu and I'm going to go for definitions now. So I'm going to type in lungs. And there you see it just gives me a more detailed definition of the word without the graphics. Reason being is because I haven't chose all. So now if I look at the lungs, I can come along here, I can click speak definition. Lungs, tuberculosis, and of. And speak back, if I want to speak the word back. Lungs, tuberculosis, of. Now read that back. Also you notice up here on the top left hand corner you've got display chronological lookup history. So that will give the history of what you've looked at. And there you can see what I've looked at there so far. You can always clear that, but I'll keep that there, it's a good index to jump to. A later date, especially when you're doing research. Also got a browse button there. You can also bookmark stuff. For example, you might go, well, that was really interesting, I need to bookmark that for a later date. So we click add. And then we can bookmark that and go to that later date. So there's definitions. I want to drop down, I want to go to drugs. And I'll type in first few letters of a drug. And that's what I'm looking for. Amiphosteine trihydrate. Amantadine hydrochloride. That to bring it up, and then I can go to speak words. Have a listen. Amiphosteine. Yeah, a little word. Trihydrate. There. That's what I'm looking for, and then I can speak the definition if need be by clicking the speak definition. Amiphosteine trihydrate. The trihydrate the form. Now click the drop down menu. We have abbreviations as well. But you probably leave it on all unless you really want to break down what you're looking for. Now, I'm going to select graphics this time in the main menu at the top. 
And let's say graphics, I'm just going to type in foot, quite general, and then you'll see it gives me a skeleton of a foot. Now if I click up all skeleton top level, then it goes to a higher level. So as you can see, a really, really useful option. Now if I actually click on the skeleton, you can see that little hand appearing. So for example, if I was to click on the knee, it then takes me to there. Top level again, you might want to go to the head. So as you can see, it's a really effective for uh, doing a medical degree. I'm going to click back to medical dictionary and I'm going through the settings quickly as well. Got your command option here and there you've got the shortcut keys. Really worth remembering as well. Edit, which works in all applications, which is copy plus C and copy feet to paste. Tools, you can add spellers if you need be. You can uncheck that and display images only on request if need be. Audio, which I turn up to fast, it has to read back the definition and history and that will keep a history of them in chronological order. So if I click OK, so for example, see the backup button? It's like the undo button. I can go back and look at everything I looked at earlier and forward again. And click clear to clear it. I haven't shown you the advanced option. The history option shows you everything you've looked at. So you can jump to what you looked at. So if I double click skeleton, it brings it straight up. You can clear the history if you want by clicking the clear button. Advanced search. Now you can choose how you want to search for something. So all entry words that start with or all entry words that end with. A bit like spellimentary if you've ever used that. You can just put parts of words into find a spelling. It's quite difficult to spell certain, especially pharmaceutical medicines. And click exit. You can bookmark what you've looked at. So if I click here, these are things that I bookmarked earlier date by clicking add so I can jump back to them whenever I need to. And I think that covers the basics of inductal medical. Thanks for watching.